today I want to share a recent AI experience that almost cost me $390 with Microsoft's AI service Copilot. From drafting detailed scripts to analyzing spreadsheets, I'm on the lookout, like many of us, for that AI gem that can integrate seamlessly and supercharge my productivity. I thought that Copilot Pro, combined with Microsoft 365, might be just the tool that I was looking for. I've been using ChatGPT for brainstorming, writing, and analyzing situations while using Gemini Advanced for doing research. More recently, however, Copilot Pro, built on top of ChatGPT and released by Microsoft, has caught my attention. I paid the $20 a month for the Pro version, and although ChatGPT and even Gemini work better for my workflow, I thought, based on the fact that it's built on top of ChatGPT and it interfaces with Microsoft 365, maybe this would be the tool that would make writing, creating, and even budgeting more efficient. However, there's always a catch, and in this situation, there were two of them. You see, my Office 365 subscription had expired, so I hadn't got the chance to test out Copilot Pro inside of Word and Excel. So when I went to renew, I actually decided to renew with Microsoft 365 Business Standard. It's only $50 more a year, and it has a number of features that I'm interested in testing out. Besides, I figured Copilot Pro would probably interface better inside of Microsoft's business subscription. Then came the curveball. To use Copilot Pro with 365 Business, I needed a separate, more costly Copilot license, $30 a month instead of $20. Now, I knew this going in, but what I didn't know is that the only option was to pay it for the entire year. That's $360 due right away instead of $20 a month. In the fast-paced world of AI, that year-long commitment seemed like a lifetime. That's where I hit the brakes. With AI evolving daily, making a year-long commitment to a newly released AI tool just didn't sit right with me. So I canceled my 365 business standard plan while it was still in the trial period. I renewed my family 365 plan, and I got to testing Copilot Pro inside of Word and Excel. Testing Copilot Pro inside of Word and Excel led me to the second catch of the situation. It wasn't the AI tool that I thought it would be that would help me enhance my scripts, create graphics, and tie all of my documents together. It wasn't even close. I had it create me a simple YouTube script outline, and it added a bunch of bullet points on suggestions for making YouTube videos in general. I read through them, but I didn't need to keep them. So I simply asked Copilot to get rid of the bullet points. Its response? Please select only plain text paragraphs. What? This is the text that it created for me. I didn't even make any changes to it, and Copilot was unable to simply just delete out the bullet points, something that I've done with ChatGPT for months. In spreadsheets, it was able to follow very specific instructions, like adding a column that calculates daily revenue when given monthly revenue, which I can also do easily. But in terms of giving any valuable insights on my revenue reports, it seemed completely stuck. Anytime I asked a more open-ended question, it asked me for more data, and unlike ChatGPT, it didn't give me any sort of idea on what type of data it wanted to receive from me. It almost seemed like it was just sending canned responses, something that I've never experienced with ChatGPT. Then, as if on cue, Google released Gemini Advanced for use inside of Docs. I gave it a try, and it worked amazingly much more similar to ChatGPT in its ability to understand human language and provide valuable insights. Gemini was able to provide detailed answers to the same questions that Copilot had failed to answer. Honestly, over the past few months, I've been debating moving from the Google ecosystem when it comes to word processing and moving over to the Microsoft ecosystem. But with Copilot's lackluster release and the pleasure of using Gemini Advanced inside of Docs, it has flipped the script on my internal debate about which workflow to use. Looks like I'll be sticking with Google Docs for a little bit longer. As far as ChatGPT goes compared to Copilot, I mean, you can upload a photo of a spreadsheet and ChatGPT will take out that information and give you valuable insights on it. With Copilot, you have to select the exact right part of the table and construct your prompts perfectly just to give it a working chance. ChatGPT basically does the work for you. I'm not saying that Copilot won't win this arms race when it's all said and done. They have OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT, under their umbrella, and besides, it's Microsoft. 
For now though, I'm going to cancel my Copilot Pro subscription and continue to use ChatGPT4 alongside Gemini Advanced. ChatGPT is my go-to AI and I haven't found anything close yet. It enhances my workflow by pointing out weaknesses in my scripts, giving me a sandbox form to bounce ideas off of, and honestly, teaches me how to perform tasks at higher quality. I mean, look at the scale and depth of the conversation I had with ChatGPT for the script of this video you're watching. I had it create an outline and then I edit it myself because yeah, AI isn't writing content for me yet, guys. But as you can see, it's reviewing my content, pointing out weaknesses and almost nudging me to keep reworking and improving my ideas. Besides, switching back to the 365 family plan and canceling Copilot Pro saved me $390 a year. I may even cancel my 365 family plan altogether, but I'd like to keep a foot in the Microsoft ecosystem. I'm happy that I saved the cash by not diving headfirst into Copilot's business model. But here's the real takeaway. While Copilot promised much, it delivered less for my workflow and at a higher cost. Gemini works well, but ChatGPT and its ability to answer like a human and understand complex topics still seems unmatched. ChatGPT is the king of AI. We'll see for how long. Obviously, if you're a programmer or if you're deep into the Microsoft ecosystem, Copilot may still be the way to go, and I'm sure Microsoft has plans for its future development. If you're doing research, writing, or looking for real insight into data, you may want to hold off on Copilot, which is just more of a worker bot for now. I hope that my story helps you in making your own decisions for which AI tools to use. I'd love to hear your thoughts or experiences in the comments section below. If you're just getting started with AI and are looking to learn the ins and outs of ChatGPT quickly, check out this video right here. I go over the basics and divulge an advanced prompting strategy. If you found the video that you're watching right now helpful, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube, subscribe for more, and good luck finding the AI solution that works best for you. I'm Anson Alexander, and I'll see you in the next one.